DHD MLX connector is an extension for the DHD MLX library that handles data connection between the client side DHD MLX components and the server side database. The connector helps to fetch data from the server side. Together with the data processor library, the connector manages client server data communications. Currently, we offer connectors for PHP, Java, ASP.NET, and Cold Fusion technologies. The connector works with the DHT MLX components that need to get content from a database, such as Data View, Grid, Tree Grid, Tree, Combo, and Scheduler. This video demonstrates how to use PHP Connector with DHT MLX Grid. To add DHT MLX Grid on a page, include necessary JavaScript and CSS files into the HTML document. Create a div container to place the grid on a page. Define the grid object. Define the path to the grid images. Set the grid header and define the names of two columns. The width of the first column is 200 pixels and the second column is auto-sized. Make the columns editable. Define the grid skin. Initialize the grid on a page. The grid with two resizable columns is displayed on the page. It doesn't have any data yet. To populate the grid with data, we create a connector.php file. GridConnector.php contains all necessary classes. Add the database connection string and initialize GridConnector based on the database connection. Use RenderTable method to define that the grid data will be taken from the table packages and we will use ID field as a row identifier. Note that if you use the Java connector, the code will look like this. In the HTML file, define that the grid data should be loaded from the connector.php. Now, the grid is filled with data from the server-side database. To make the grid load faster, enable the Smart Rendering feature. It allows the grid to render only rows in the visible area. In the HTML file, include the JavaScript file that contains Smart Rendering functionality and enable the Smart Rendering feature. For better loading speed, add dynamic loading support in the connector.php file. Now, the grid rows are loaded dynamically on demand. The rows are rendered by parts while scrolling. Another option to display a grid with a large number of rows is Paging View. Replace the Smart Rendering extension file with the file for paging support. Define the area for paging bar. Enable paging instead of the Smart Rendering feature and set the paging skin to bricks. Add the CSS file that defines the look of the bricks skin for paging. Now we have the grid with paging. Dynamic loading makes the grid work fast with 1000 records and more. DHT MLX Connector also provides server-side filtering and sorting capabilities. In the HTML file, include the filtering extension file and add the reference to the connector. Attach filtering fields to the grid header. Connector text filter means that filtering will be processed on the server side by the connector library. Set sorting type to connector to enable server-side sorting. The grid now has filtering fields in the header. The grid is also sortable. The data is filtered on the server by DHT MLX connector. The grid displays only the records that contain entered characters. Sorting is processed on the server side by the connector as well. The grid supports in-cell editing. All changes made in the grid in a web browser can be saved to the server side with a data processor library. 
In the HTML file, add the reference to the data processor JavaScript file. Create an instance of the data processor and link it with the grid and the connector PHP file. No need to change anything in the PHP file. The connector already knows everything it needs to insert, update, and delete records. When we edit the grid records in line, the changes are saved to the database on the server. Changes are saved. You can reload the page and check. You've seen the basic features of DHTMLX Connector. Using the provided client-side and server-side API of Data Processor, you can customize the client-server communication that will meet your application needs.